Good morning, everyone. It is around 6 a.m. on Monday, January 4th, and this is the morning grind. So this is a new segment that I'm going to be posting a few times a week, uh, basically just talking about any big headlines that come up in the UFC, any big fights that are coming up, uh, just posting a quick three, five minute video. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Some big news kind of going around Colby Covington, George Masvidal seems like these two are inevitably going to cross paths at some point, and it's probably going to happen in 2021. Um, so for those of you who don't really know the backstory between the two, I kind of wanted to go over that a little bit because it is pretty interesting when there's always bad blood going into a, a huge fight like this. So basically you have Colby Covington, George Masvidal, American top team. Um, if you don't know American top team, they host a ton of the, some of the biggest fighters in the world. Obviously, we're talking about Colby Covington. We're talking about George Masvidal. Um, but, you know, Dustin Poirier, he has a huge fight coming up. He's been a, a big name, top five guy for a while now. He fights an American top team. So it's just a stacked group of people. Great gym to be involved with. Um, so they both fought for American top team. They both train there at that gym. Um, so if you don't know, Colby, George Masvidal, they were roommates, but actually what the scenario was, was George was the more veteran fighter. He had the sponsorships. He had the money, had a bigger name. Um, so he actually allowed Colby to sleep on his couch. Um, you know, he shared his food with him. He supported him while Colby was still growing in the sport. So it was more of like a big brother, little brother, you know, situation going on, less of a, a roommate situation. Um, so within American Top Team, you have Colby, you have George, and they also shared a coach that worked with both of these guys. And while Colby was training for a fight in 2018, it was the interim title fight against RDA. George, this coach, they were helping Colby prep for this fight. Uh, Colby goes into that fight. He wins it. He's supposed to pay this coach a specified amount of money. But guess what? He never actually paid him. And that's where everything just kind of went sour. George Masvidal stepped in. He was pissed for his coach. He was defending him. But Colby didn't pay. So since that point in time, they basically have not talked at all. They don't see each other in public at all. George Masvidal says that he just kind of plays on that a little bit. He'll go to the places that Colby eats. He knows where he hangs out a lot, and George will just go there. Colby will just completely avoid it. As soon as George steps foot in the gym, Colby's out the back door. So these guys just have a very tense relationship. It's very bad. Um and it got to the point where Dan Lambert, who's the owner of American Top Team, basically created a rule that forbidden trash talking among your teammates if you're not actually scheduled to fight them. So that obviously stems more from Colby, who's a, a lot more of a, a bigger trash talker. Um, but guess what? Colby broke that rule pretty quickly, just started you know, rashing on all of the people at the gym, mainly George Masvidal, even people like Dustin Poirier. Um, so he violated that new rule. And as of May 2020, he left American top team. So that's kind of where we stand up until 2020. Colby parts ways. George is still with American top team. They both hate each other. They both have a very public beef with each other. They get asked this a million times. They have nothing good to say with each other. Um, but now it seems like Dana White is very interested in making this fight. He's confirmed that it's definitely in the talks to happen in 2021. And then just recently we saw George Masvidal tweeted out. Uh, he said that the great state of Florida is open for business. So let's give the people what they want. Shortly after that, Abraham Kawa, who is a representative of George Masvidal, replied to that tweet saying, according to sources, he wants Colby. So, Everything, the picture is painted. It seems like this is going to go down. We know that Colby wants it. This is just a fight that makes sense. Colby's the number one contender right now. George Masvidal's ranked number four. He's just coming off the title fight against Kamara Usman. Colby just recently fought against Kamara Usman. Um, so this seems like it has to happen. It's bad blood. That's the best type of fights we want to see. So super excited to see this. Hopefully this is a helpful backstory to you. Um, but who do you guys see winning this fight? I think it's going to be an amazing matchup. 
I don't think it's going to necessarily go the same way that George faced against Usman, where it was just complete control the whole time. I think with a full camp and with the bad blood, it's going to be a lot better. So I'm super excited for it. 